Hi guys! I said in my last video that I am going to do a video on styling my extensions and so here it is. I have been heating my curling iron. Da, 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 da. It's nothing special, it's the cheapest curling iron I could find. And I will just get to it and see what happens. Right, I'm going to curl my extensions like, well I'll show you what I mean, kind of like blow drying. Like curl them under instead of sideways, like this. Ouch! Touch the hot part. I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna curl my extensions like um, like curling them up instead of curling them to the side. So it should be kind of like a tight blow dry as opposed to ringlets. I want it kind of bouncy instead of precise curls. Now before I blow dry my extension neck, I put a little bit of mousse on them. Whether that will actually help them to hold only time will tell. But as I mentioned in my other video if you've seen it, when I take my extensions out I leave them on the radiator. I like leave them hooked up. So and the radiator is like never on. So it won't make my extensions like it won't make the curls drop out or anything leave them on the radiator. It will only help them not be kind of tangled up and it just means that when I come back to them next there'll probably just be a little slight wave to them which makes it all the better because if I haven't straightened my hair it's an absolute pain um, having to there we are. Uh, it's an absolute pain having to straighten my hair before I put my extensions in I hate that so if they're a little bit wavy I don't have to do that and of course if they are a little bit wavy, then it just makes it that much easier to blend them in. When they're totally, totally straight, it makes it more obvious that they're extensions, I find. Whereas if you have them quite wavy, then it doesn't. Now, you'll find, if I go like that, you should look, oh, you can see that they'll go like that. I am going to do a proper Victoria's Secret tutorial, unless this turns into one. Um, but generally what I would do with kind of big, bouncy curls is the same as I would do with the pin curls. If you've seen any of my pin curl tutorials, I haven't done any of those in forever. And I know that I didn't have very many subscribers or viewers when I was doing those, so you may not have seen those. If you have, and you have, just write me a comment, let me know if you've seen it. Um, if not, go kind of looking for it. It was one of my first, first videos, so if you went to kind of way down the list, it would be there. Um, but this is kind of the same deal as what I would have done for my pin curl tutorial. And that is definitely more what I would do for uh, a Victoria's Secret hair. Kind of curl them and then I would pin them up and leave it for them to... Leave it for them to cool. And then let them out and it just ends up looking like a big blowout. Because I find it really, really difficult to blow dry my hair extensions. Because if I have them hooked onto something and I blow my hair out, it kind of falls off. And if I have it in my hair and I blow my hair out, then it pulls on my hair and it either feels like it's going to pull my hair out or it feels like the extension is going to fall out, so it kind of sucks. I really, really struggle trying to do that. So if anyone's got any tips, I'm more than happy to take them. Anything I can pass on to people would be great. So yeah, all I'm doing, as I say, is curling under. I'm just going to do it in four sections. The front sections are smaller than the back sections. I think I'm determined to burn myself this evening. Of an awkward angle. There's times like this that I wish that I was doing that on my normal camera so I could then edit it and fast forward it for you. So I'm sorry if it's boring watching me curl my hair, but I really would like to do it in real time 10 minutes to show you that you could actually do this in real time. I mean, obviously, I'm styling my hair extensions, you could do this if you've got long hair. <laughs> oh 
obviously. Now, why it would be particularly good if you could pin them kind of all up and let them cool is it sets and they last longer. So if you can kind of rest them on your shoulders, I know that looks really crazy, but if you can rest them on your shoulders a little bit so that they don't all fall down, um, just until they cool down a little bit. I mean, these ones I can feel are a lot hotter than these ones. These ones are pretty much cool already now, whereas these ones, obviously, because I've just done it, if I let it go, then these ones will drop out earlier than these ones will. The one thing that I do like about curling them when they're in your hair um, is just that it looks so much more natural. Like they all curl as one, rather than when I curl them before I put them in my hair, or when I've curled them in my hair and then I take them out and then I put them back in. They're all individual. They're all individual, and I don't know. It just looks more like extensions. It's quite. It's much more obvious that it's extensions. Um, I do like this kind of colour hair as well. Because I think the extensions look a lot more natural. When you've got blonde, blonde hair, then it is a bit more to wear an extensions. So it's more likely that you wear an extension. Someone with like a light brown, kind of mousy coloured hair, it is like less conspicuous. So maybe people think less that you would have that done. Okay. Just we'll let them out. Okay. I'm going to just shake out a little bit. Just to let the girl out. Oh, love it. And that was so quick. I haven't done the back ones quite enough yet. Now I've got a little bit here that I've obviously caught with my curling iron, but I'll just straighten that. But yeah. How quick was that? Really, really quick. Um, obviously you can spritz them with hairspray or whatever. I don't like to put hairspray on my extensions. I'd just rather kill them again. Um, especially as I'm not actually going anywhere. But if you spritz them with hairspray, obviously it's going to last a little bit longer. But I find if I had to choose, I would definitely, definitely use mousse as opposed to hairspray. Because mousse doesn't feel as sticky, it doesn't feel as hard. And you kind of brush the mousse out before you use it. I just prefer it. Generally. Ha ah, ha done. Okay, what do you think? I really like it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.